What's up, everybody? I am a hair on Bronner, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video today. I appreciate everybody coming through viewing my very first video of me cooking one of the best steaks ever made, as well as the beautiful, colorful peewee potatoes. Today, we're gonna have one of my absolute favorites next to Italian food and Mexican food. We have an American classic, such as the beautiful buffalo wings, guys. I cannot wait to get started. So how about let's stop talking, let's cook. Okay guys, so right now I have my hot oil in my pot uh, getting ready and it's getting nice and warm. I'm aiming for 350 to 375 degrees. I know my man Quain Tran, he absolutely loves to check his oil uh, with one of these chopsticks or this is actually a wooden uh, bamboo skewer. Uh, you put your, uh, your skewer down in the middle of the pot or the pan or skillet, whatever you're using. And if the uh, oil bubbles, uh, that means that the oil is nice and hot. You can put in your chicken and begin to cook. I like to do that as well as use an instant read thermometer. So I'm actually gonna pull this out and I'm going to check my oil. So guys, we are at 328 and it's actually going down now. So we're gonna let this sit for just a little bit longer. So until it comes to tip, we're gonna take our time on our chicken. So I actually like to season my chicken. You know, if you use hot sauce for wings uh, or any buffalo sauce, any sauce of that matter, yes, you taste the sauce on wings, but at the end of that, if you have a good palate, uh, behind that, you just taste, you know, oiled up chicken, and that's not really all that delicious to me. There's no flavor behind that sauce. So I like to have my nice little special blend of salt, pepper, lemon pepper, oregano, cayenne, and chili powder. And I like to just put it all in here. I mean, I need the whole thing for this one. I'm actually going to hold back just a little bit because I don't want to over season. And I'm going to get in here, and I'm just going to get my hands all nice and dirty, and I'm going to make sure every Wingette gets every last bit of this dry rub. And now that my oil has come up to temp, I'm going to carefully drop in my wings. And guys, please make sure that you have completely dried off these wings before you put them in to avoid splashing and all the other types of disasters that you do not want. And once they're in, you want to continuously move them around. You don't want them sticking to the bottom of this pan. Now that they're all in, I'm just going to stir them around. Keep these wings moving so that they do not stick to the bottom of the pot. While these wings are cooking, I still want to be a little productive. So I want to take a few celery sticks out of my pack here, about three, maybe four. And I'm going to give them a nice chop down the middle just to have a nice little something to cool off these warm wings once they come out. And there's something I negate to say at the beginning of this video. These wings will be double fried. So now I'm gonna pull out one of the bigger wings out of this winged batch, and I'm going to now temp check with my instrument thermometer, and it immediately has hit about 200 degrees. So now I'm gonna pull this out, and I'm gonna let it rest for two minutes. I'm gonna begin our special wing sauce. This on a cooling rack. You don't wanna put this on paper towels or anything of that sort. It's not good uh, for the chicken. It's actually gonna dry out the chicken, but the cooling rack, it actually keeps all the moisture, and it keeps all that good flavor that you're looking for. So as you guys can see, our wings have come to temp. The only problem is, look, they're not really crispy. They're done, but they're not done to where I want it. And guys, that's the problem that I see in most restaurants. They cook them to temp where they're ready, but they're not crispy. So we're gonna let these rest for two minutes. We're gonna begin our sauce, and we're just gonna let these things go back in the oil at a higher temp and get nice and crispy. Small saucepan by Quiznot. I have this beautiful butter in here with garlic shavings, and that is going to be the trick to this buffalo sauce we have here that a lot of restaurants do not do but we're going to just let this lightly simmer guys we don't want to burn this butter and now that our chicken is rested we're going to add it right back to the heat and this is where we get that crisp which is why i absolutely love double fried chicken double fried chicken is the best chicken you can ever go for 
it never lets you down because it's always crispy and it's always delicious. Look at that color, guys. Absolute satisfaction. Beautiful. And now our wings are at absolute perfection. I'm gonna take these out. And we're gonna get ready to sauce these up. These wings, ladies and gentlemen, absolute perfection. And we're gonna check on our butter liquefied state that I needed to be in, and that garlic smells absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take beautiful Frank's red hot buffalo sauce. And you know me, I love sauce. And I feel like at least more than half the bottle. I'm gonna add it to this. Now our beautiful wings that have sat got nice and crispy. The sauce smells absolutely amazing. I know restaurants for sure do not do a garlic butter sauce like that. I know that for sure. Now I'm gonna take my wings and we're gonna blend. Mix it around. You spin it around, you can toss, whatever it takes to get that beautiful sauce all over these wings. Okay. On the presentation side. smells so good, I literally can taste it. <laughs> I absolutely can taste it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the most beautiful buffalo wings that you can absolutely demolish. And to be quite honest with you, I would eat it on camera, but you just won't look at me the same. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully you click that like button. Hopefully you subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning into my last video. And thank you so much for tuning into this video. Have a great evening and stay tuned for the next one.